Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to my channel. Today I have come up with another Salesforce series that is Squid. Squid is a user experience tool that helps you to create applications with just clicks rather than the code. Let's get started with the introduction of Squid and how to install Squid in your org and what things are available as per the architecture of it. So in order to install, I'm just going to search for a squid app exchange, click on this first URL and I'm going to click get it now. It will take me to the provider site. On the provider side, you need to provide your email address and uh, few checks you need to select for the privacy and you, you need to provide how did you hear about Squid and uh, then later on it's gonna ask for your or credentials as well in which org you want this to be installed and uh, the permissions usually uh, app exchange asked whether it is for all users or is it is for admins only. So with free addition, it is providing you five user accounts to create and build, deploy Squid apps. Nine data connections you can make, whether it could be Salesforce or REST or PostgreSQL, OData, uh, MySQL as well. So there are multiple options available, but nine connections you can make. And uh, all access to design system, app composer, so everything you can do. You can write your own JavaScript in that and you can uh, you can create a data design systems as well. So all those things you can work with your uh, free edition as well. So once uh, you have provided all the information and you have uh, get it for your org, then in your org, if you are on the lightning, then in, you need to select, you need to search in the app console. So Squid, if you will click, it's going to take you to the console of a Squid application where you can see there are uh, multiple tabs available on the top navigation bar, pages, design system, data sources, deployment, settings, help. So pages are nothing but the UI pages which you can create to show data on the user interface to, uh, to create guided experiences or list views whatever you can uh, you want to create on the ui so that comes from the pages tab design systems are like if you want to have any customizable or dynamic style guide that you have somewhere else and you want to put it in here then you can use the design systems then data sources are the sources from where your data is coming. It could be your Salesforce, it could be from REST, OData, MySQL, or, or any other thing. So if you, if I will clear, click on create, it's gonna show which options are there, okay? So data source type, you can see Amazon, Redshift, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Jira, SQL Server, MySQL, MariaDB, Odata, Oracle, PostgreSQL, REST, Salesforce. So all these data types are uh, data source types are available. But with free addition, you can only create the nine. Uh, you can only create the nine data sources connections. Okay. So here I have two already created. So seven more I can create with free addition. Okay. Then deployment tab. So deployment tab is to uh, create the packages and uh, you can use those packages to deploy the squid pages. So how we do deployments of a squid page, once we convert a squid page into an static resource, there could be multiple pages or single page as well. And then we deploy the static resource and we export pages again from that static resource in our target org. That's how we deploy these squid pages. 
then in settings some settings could be there about the application like license permissions or preferences convert composer settings encryption key about so that is the architecture of a squid application and uh, that was about uh, the uh, of the tab so in a squid uh, ui tab data source and design system so that was all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as official bagirwa thank you